Okay, guys. So you have gone on to the sociology website. You have already requested a password protected website. You received your email that gave the link to your website and clicked on it. And now you are at your site. Now, what do you do? So go to the bottom of each log into apps and allows you to edit your website. So the content of this guide um, basically tells exactly how to do it. So name your website. You want to click the title and then you can name it whatever you want. So euthanasia and us and that will change the name of your site um you can change the content as you're doing this you might not want to edit the boxes that are there just keep them for, for instructions um you could for example put a box and do a box name so you could just say Euthanasia, as an example, um, position, um, you could have it or between boxes after a page or whatever. Um, a thing box just you won't see any um, borders, so you would see the box name. Um, so I, I can show you what that will look like. So if I save. So you see the box name and you see the box, uh, but, but uh, whenever we view it um, at the back, so we're in the editing mode, but if you see it um, as a visitor, which I'll show you in a moment, uh, you, you see the box. So if I add, so if you want to add text, you just add, add some HTML rich text. And you can um, put in anything here. So um, here is my text. If you, you want to type it up maybe in a Word document, um, that's totally fine. And you paste it. Um, the only thing is it probably will take a lot of the padding. Um, so don't concentrate on, on to look pretty when you're doing it in Word. I get the, the text kind of one and paste in here. Use these um, tools in here to make it how you want it. Just make sure it's legible. Um, and then we save it. And I'll show you the boss. So, so click the I, but this private. Just going to your classmates are gonna see. So you see how the the um boss way so it doesn't have this like background. That, that's the floating box. So although you sit in your side, um they don't see it on one side. So it's just another way um get look the way you want it to. Um now you do have to have some media items here so, so you know you could add photos a link a video Let's say I want a video here I'm gonna add a widget and I need to name that an embed code so let's say over on YouTube a BC documentary I wanted to add in what I want to do is go to and embed, and then this is the embed code that we need. So I'm going to copy that out. I want to start from the middle, they don't need to do it. But if I wanted to start from me, you know, it's in, uh, I can click that button. It will change the embed code a little bit. It would start at the time I wanted it to. So I have that. Back to 
to the website. Um, go to document documentary. I'm going to paste the bank and my video. So if I add text to this, I can add and then I can get rich text. And that would be C documentary. And I can leave it. And then here it is text. Um, now, if I wanted to edit any of the, say I needed to add, add or, or put some, um, there's a little edit button. It looks like pencil and paper. You can edit it. You could also delete. And if you delete it, it it's going to delete the part that is above. On. Now, in this case, you have there's an edit button and then an edit button here. If I delete this part, it's only going to delete until the next edit button. So I would not be deleting the video if I do this. Um, so you can all change your box. If I had an image decided I I'd want I would add more. Uh, maybe I'd click on the, the pencil, so it's, it's very light, the gray pencil here, and, and I can change this to the documentary. So, so I did it. Uh, you also have on this our profile, so the instructor how to update your profile pic. What you want to do is is the blue button, guys, and then you'll want to right click, or if you're on the top, you'll just two curves. I'm going to do. Um, go back and try it again. There we go. And add link tab. to my picture. Uh, it has a little picture. And then um, under profile image, you can click here and then upload a new profile image. Just make sure that the image is on five megabytes. So it typically is going to be in or just headshot, the shoulders. Um, so you could an image that you have down. Um, another way to get it to five uh, megabytes is to save it in a JPEG, save as a PNG file. That, that's also so once you change that, it's going to update to my. Oops. Sorry. It's going to update this picture to. My new picture. Um, if I want to delete this box, um, you, you click on, on delete box and it say, Hey, do you want to do this? So they understand, and then you can click and it'll go away. If you do anything, however, there is no way to retrieve it. But once you delete it, it's deleted. Um, your Pages, uh, and you can add multimedia items, or you know, change the um, text or whatever you want. You can also, change the layout if you wanted. Um, change the page title. Go to page, page properties. Um, change the title to whatever you want. So I could put. A Elderly uh, populations, for example, save and it will change. Um, references, um, 
you're not going to be able to get the hanging done thing. Um, it just do that. So I would just let it be. Um, just put, put references and um, just let it without the hanging in. Last thing, um, if you need any help, go to the library homepage and ask them. We're there from you from 8 till 9 at night, Monday through Thursday, um, 8 to 6 on Friday, and Saturday 10 to 4. If you, you click on the login and tell them that you're working on technology, Right. Um, uh, the lines and that you help um, help you. Hey guys, suck.